Welcome to this tutorial on how to update Notions database automatically using OpenAI. Guys, if you are tired of spending hours in updating your Notions database manually, then this automation video is for you because here I'm going to show you how you can integrate Notion with OpenAI and how you can automatically update your Notions database using the power of artificial intelligence. And guys, we are going to set up this automation without any coding just by a few clicks. So let's begin. To set up this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And from here, you can sign up for free. So I have pasted the same link in the description. So you can just sign up right now and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So after signing up, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Fably Connect. From here, you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So I am giving the name here as Notion to Open AI. Okay. And after giving any name like this, you can click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So these are the basic building blocks of our automation. And uh, our automations are actually based on these two things only. So trigger starts the workflow and the action is the automated response or the consequence of the trigger. So here, when you click on this trigger field, it will ask for choosing the trigger application and the trigger event. So in our use case, we are using notions database and here I am entering a series of prompts for open AI and I want that as I enter the prompt here, the content related to the prompt will be generated using open AI automatically and get filled here in this column in this generated content column. Okay. Now, Entering this prompt here is going to trigger the workflow. So OpenAI is our, sorry, Notion is our trigger application. Search for Notion. And the trigger event would be new database item. Okay. So click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. Then click on connect with Notion. All right, so it might bring you to the login window if you're not logged in, but I have already logged in in Notion, so it is just asking me to provide the permissions to access the workspaces and the pages that you have. So click on select pages and it will show you the database's name and the page's name. So you can check the boxes to select them and then click on allow access and it will be connected with Notion like this, okay? Then it will ask to select the database ID. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the databases that you have. So my database is this named as prompt series. So I'm selecting it from here. Okay. So after that, we have the save and send test request button here. So um, when you click here, it is going to fetch the most recent entry that you have done inside your notions database. So this is the last entry I have done. This is a prompt I have given. Okay. Let us click on save and send test request here and see if we got the data data. And here you can see guys in the response section, we got the URL of our notions database. And here you can see it is showing the type of the uh, title we have in the title column and the content is here. So we got the content, write a Facebook post on notion automations. This is what I have entered as a prompt here. Okay. Now with the help of this prompt, I want to generate some content using open AI. So in the action step, I'm going to connect with open AI. Okay. Select the action event as generate content and click on connect button. From here, select add new connection and here it will ask for the API key of OpenAI. So you can just click on this OpenAI key pages link and it will bring you to the OpenAI API keys page. And from here, you can generate a key by clicking on this create new secret key button. Okay. All right. So to come here, you must have to 
uh, logged in, you have you should have to uh, you know already logged in in OpenAI. And after that, when you click here, you will reach this page, and you can generate a key by clicking on this create new key button. And that's how the key will be generated. You just have to copy this key and paste it here in this token field like this and click on save and you will be connected with OpenAI like this. Then it will ask for the artificial intelligence model that you want to use to generate the content. So here it will show you the list of the language models used by OpenAI and this is the mostly used model. So I'm going to use this only text DaVinci 003. Then it will ask for the prompt to generate something. So we got the prompt from Notion. Here is the prompt. So I'm going to map this label here in this field. So to map this label, you just have to click here on this prompt field and the previous step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show you the labels right here. So from here, map this property content label. Okay, so this will act as a prompt. Here you can provide the number of maximum tokens or words that you want to generate. The default value is 256. If you want to increase the value, you can enter any value here. Maximum limit is 2048. Then it will ask for selecting the sampling type. So we have these two kind of sampling types. You can select any one. Default is this. Here you can provide the sampling value between 0 to 1. Default value is 0.7. So I'm going to use the default values right now. Here you can provide a stop sequence to provide a command to stop generating content uh, at any sequence. So you can use these symbols or you can leave it blank. Here it will ask for best of option. So you can select best of two or best of three. I'm selecting best of two. Okay. And now you can click on save and send test request. And in the response section, you will get the generated content using OpenAI. Here you can see OpenAI has given us the content in this choices zero text label. Here you can see the content. This is how a small, uh, you know, according to the prompt, we have asked for a Facebook post and a small Facebook post is generated for Notion automations. All right. With Notion automations, you can easily create workflows, automate tasks, so this is a really relevant stuff that OpenAI has given us. Okay. Now I want to update this content inside Notions database again. For that to happen, just click here on this plus icon. And from this action step, search for Notion again. All right. Then select the action event now as update or update page. Okay, so here we have this update page option selected, then click on connect button. From here, now guys, we have already connected with notion in the trigger. So every connection that you make with applications are saved in your account. So if you want to make the connections again, you can use your saved connections. For that to happen, just select this existing connection option. And then it will show you the list of your saved connections. From here, you can choose any one and then click on save and you will be connected again with the same application like this. And here it will ask for the database name where you have the page. So this is my database prompt series. I have selected it. Okay. And here it will ask for the page ID or what you can do. You can see in the trigger step where we have fetched the response from notion here it has given us these values and here you can find the ID of the page that you are using. This is the page ID. So I'm going to map this page ID in the uh, in this step. So first select the prompt series, the database's name, then click here on the page ID field and from the trigger or the first step, map the ID that you got here. So this is the page's ID. You can see just map this label here and then it will it is asking for the generated content from OpenAI here. This is the uh, header of the column that I have here. You can see generated content from OpenAI. This is the columns header and to fill the value here in this column, just click here and from this last step from the OpenAI step map this choices zero text label and uh, leave this prompt field blank because we have already have a pro prompt here. You can see 
the prompts are already given in the notion so you can leave it blank now click on save and send test request button and your notions database will be updated let me show you i have clicked on save and send test request this is the response we have received let's check in our notions database now and here you can see guys we got the generated content like this so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you do not even have to open this workflow it will run silently in the background and in real time whenever you are going to add any new prompt here the content will be generated automatically let me show you a real time demo i am going to uh, give a prompt now write a tweet on notion workspace management okay this is a random uh, thing random prompt i am giving to open ai and i am clicking on enter and here you can see guys in just a few moments we got a small tweet for notion organize your workspace with notion for more efficient workspace management keep track of tasks notes and more with this powerful productivity tool organize notion productivity this this is how it is going to work according to the prompts okay so we are done and it's working fine and guys you can use this same workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the ratepably.com. You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link. And you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.